Welcome back everyone. It's just before lunchtime. Look at that black sky. I've got some unboxings to share with you and I'm going to have to turn the lights on yet again. I'm going to get ready and face the day. Before we sit down ladies, and yes it's still dark, <laughs> I've had to put the lights on. Um, this is the little Christmas get up. This is a little Christmas get up as well. Um, after that cold I didn't have a lot of time this year. I bought this garland and this is double so it's very long in in b &Q, yeah and I think it was £10 and if you think that's it's double the length of that shelf so I've doubled it but I thought that was really good and I just bought these to stick in it and they were they were three pound and I've just stuck them in there so that's it for us this year ladies <laughs> sorry it's not a lot of Christmas but hey ho anyway I have some unboxings oh and the cushions the cushion I bought this in H&M I just thought it was super cute so I've added that to the chair as well and here's the unboxings as you can see it's lily silk I love the packaging that's actually got a bit of a bit of ray there that's it but look who wouldn't like to receive a lily silk box like that so let's get into it right let's lower you down a bit that's it lovely i've just washed my hair and it's gone really soft and it's like baby hair so you almost probably see this gradually straighten as we feel because that seems to be what happens lately unless I use hairspray it's just gone really soft I don't know what is going on I just can't seem to find the right shampoo either at the moment I'm using uh, just bog standard Tresemme I think it's just a uh, basic wash um, yeah but my hair's still going really soft I think it's the rollers that are doing it I've used rollers today I've used rollers today by the way yeah and it's just really soft anyway let's get into this unboxing so I did actually unbox a couple of these for my socials just now and I started doing it and I thought I wanted to do this with my subs on YouTube and I just completely forgot I'm useless absolutely useless so I think in here is a cashmere long cardigan I just love how they do all their packaging it's, and you get bits and pieces with it as well so this has got extra thread you always get spare buttons oh god this is heavy this is like a coat wow it's really heavy yep this is the i'm pretty sure this is cashmere we want to inspire people to live a better life and more sustainable life our care for one another and the planet is what drives us and boy lily silk are doing such a great job i think at the moment um yeah oh there's a belt so this is a tie belt cardigan and you've got the shawl collar you're not going to be able to see much with me holding up turned up sleeves it's just a really thick ribbon pockets i will be having a try on ladies we'll try it on in a minute and you'll see it on oh i'm just surprised at the weight of it that's going to be more like a jacket than a cardigan for indoors hello Bo. Bo has just arrived into the room she's got bad claw at the moment she split one of her claws and she keeps 
lick 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 and it's driving me nuts so if you hear it that's what it is um the other thing that i got from lily silk i chose this for over christmas because it's red and if you remember last year i wore red for new year's eve i just think red is a lovely color but i'm thinking about this for christmas day it's quite screwed up it's a pussy bow blouse and this is i don't know what type of silk this is but i know it's silk because they use so many different types of silk on the lily silk website you you have to check i find their mulberry silk is a lot uh, sturdier and thicker and it's not as fluid I'm not sure what silk this is let's have a look this is oh well that told me this is mulberry silk and look how fluid this is so what do I know beautiful beautiful um it's going to look great with jeans or leather trousers. You'll see it on. I'll need to iron or get the steamer out for this lot. What are you doing? And this one is a cardigan. This is the one I think I'm going to love the most. And this is what I like about Lily Silk. It's just such a great gift guide. Go on, you know, I don't know how, how long have we got now. It's only a week or so, ladies. I have nowhere near finished my shopping yet. But yeah, they've got everything on Lily Silk. I think they do makeup bags, pillowcases. They do all different types of pillowcases. Hair scrunchies, eye masks. Just beautiful, beautiful items. Um... Yeah, so this is the other one, this V-neck cardigan. It's got like, would you say, snow? Yeah, snowflakes on this. I think it's actually called the snowflake cardigan. And again, this is really heavy. Look at this, beautiful. That actually looks quite big. What size have they sent me? It's a medium. I think maybe I might need to size down because I have lost a bit of weight, ladies. Um, I'll be discussing that all with you another time. But, you know, that does actually look like that is going to be quite big on me. Oh, I don't know. It might be okay. But we'll have a little try on. Beautiful V-neck. Black buttons. And I just love that it's sort of Christmas, but not Christmas. Let's see what material this is. It's 100% wool, this one. So it's not silk, it's not cashmere. Because I have Lily Silk cashmere jumpers. I have a Lily Silk silk knitted polo neck that I've had for years. And I absolutely love it. It's a great base layer. But yeah, this is wool. Let's see what the cardigan was. We don't want to play ball at the moment. Thank you. You play, go on. She's very bored. And the field that I run bowing at the moment is literally underwater. Oh, you want to see the state of me when I come home from that field and her. I'm having to bath her every time that I get home in the garden with the watering can I might add because I can't get bow in the shower. Oh, this is 100% wool as well. And maybe that's why it's so weighty. But yeah, really, really pleased with those. Um, you'll see the try on as I talk through them. So yeah, very nice, very nice. I'll have to decide what I'm gonna pair them with now. Um, I wanted to say thank you for all your support actually on the Marks and Spencers film. It's just so lovely. Love to you all and thank you very much. It means a lot. Um, no, get that away from there. Thank you. 
and this is the other unboxing i have been after these earrings for some time ladies from monica Venega. and don't forget my 20 percent discount these i think it's called the kate young collection i'll have to come in close and see if i can get that look at those they're like a hoop and is it amber or tortoise i'm not sure but as soon as i saw them i thought oh i love them and i do and i do i've actually got monica vaneda hoops in today um and apparently these keep selling out they've been so popular and I managed to get my hands on a pair so I was really grateful for that. I'll put them on with the cardigan or I'll style them as well through the film as well. We'll have a little try on and uh, see what the week brings. I've got to finish my shopping. I'm hoping to pop to Lakeside because I want to go to the Marks and Spencers, the new flagship store. And um, there's also a Christmas light display on. Thank you. There's also a Christmas light display on at Hyde Hall where Mum's bench is. So I'm hoping to share that with you as well. So let's see how the week goes. I hope you're not all too busy. And I hope you're not all suffering from sad like I am. Because it is now half past two. And you would think it was night time outside. It's completely dark, really bad, and it's really making me depressed. I don't know about you lot, but I am just done with this horrible, miserable weather. What have I got on today? I've got on uh, this Denmark blouse, but I've, I've been using these H&M t-shirts really a lot. So I'll button that up. And they're acting as a really nice warm base layer. And I'm, I'm going to have to buy more of these. I've got six, six of these H&M t-shirts, but only one white and one nude. But I think they make a great base layer for keeping warm. That's how I've managed to wear this blouse today and I'm not too cold. But otherwise I'd have to put something over the top of it to where it's on its own. I think a camisole would be too cold at the moment. So yeah, I've got the short sleeve t-shirt on under there. And I really like this blouse. And I've got the Damart jeans on as well. And my dome ring. Now you've not seen this dome ring for some time. But this is like... Um, my Monica Veneda hoops that I wear daily. This is my ring version. I absolutely love this dome ring. I like how simple it is. It goes with anything. And this was from Majuri. I've had this quite a while. But I lost it. And um, I found it the other day in a candle holder. Because... I was making biscuits in the kitchen and for some reason the candle holder was there and obviously I thought oh I'll just plonk that in there and then I thought it was lost I, I just didn't remember that I'd put it in there and this was about three or four months ago now but I'm so pleased that I found it so that's made my day anyway ladies I'm going to crack on I've got lots of admin to do so I will chat with you again tomorrow morning everyone um let me explain i wasn't happy with that filming yesterday i was going to do that lily silk dry on and the lighting was so dark and i really don't want to have to put a light on if i can help it oh that's my belly rumbling i wasn't feeling myself and i thought laurie just give up and start again tomorrow and so that's what I'm going to do. I've got them three pieces. I'm going to try them on with you. And do you ever think to yourself, Laurie, you just don't look right. 
I just didn't like how I looked yesterday. I didn't like the hair. I don't know if it's from where I'm recovering from the cold. And today I got up and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to put something nice on today. Give myself that feel good factor. So that's what I did. <laughs> so I started all over again. I've put this lily silk dress on. Um, I'll have to pan you down a bit. I've not gone too over the top. I'm not even leaving the house today. But I just wanted to feel nice. And I think it's good. It's good for the soul, ladies. Yeah, This dress, you could... Uh... No. So, this dress, ladies, you can wear day or night, I think. You can actually do the full off-the-shoulder number add a different belt, don't add a belt, um, dress it right up, add your sparkly accessories and it becomes an evening piece, it's just, this dress is beautiful, also from Lily Silk, which I was sharing with you yesterday, and do you know what, in that video I didn't even explain that I've got a new discount code, which I think, I'm not sure if there's any changes, but I'm going to throw it up anyway, and I'll add it also to yesterday's film. So, yeah, it's quite long, this dress. Let's pan you down a bit. I've got knee-high boots on. And I love it. Absolutely love it. And I do feel so much better wearing this. <laughs> it's definitely helped with that feel-good factor. And I don't know if many of you actually treat yourself at Christmas. I always do. I already know what I'm going to treat myself to. And uh, I'll share that with you after Christmas because I haven't ordered it yet. But I always like to treat myself. And if I can't afford it, it goes on the Klarna, the Pain 3. Good old Klarna. Um, yeah. The other thing is as well, I've got something really interesting to share with you. So I'm going to do this try on and then I'm going to show the other item with it. It arrived yesterday and I've used it once and I just wanted to share it with you. I'm doing, I'm actually commissioned to write a blog post for it. I'm not commissioned to share it on here, but I'm going to because I think it's a great brand. Right, the red silk shirt look it's beautiful it really is a beautiful red as well it's not as orangey as it's looking on this camera it is a little bit dark but it's a lot brighter than it was yesterday now i'm going to style this three ways i'm going to put my leather trousers on for a casual look i'm going to style it with some evening trousers i think or some plain black trousers and then I'm going to style it with a skirt. I've got two skirts, new skirts, haven't I? I've got the gypsy tiered one, or I've got the split up the front one. And I think that would really turn it from day to night, pairing it with a skirt. So let's get going. So here is the first look. Now, this is very sheer. And I've added a camisole top underneath this just because it's so sheer. If you want to do the really sexy thing, I think a black bra under this, you know, a good bralette, if you like, under this would look absolutely amazing. Now, I've paired it with leather trousers. They, they actually feel big. I've lost so much weight, ladies. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've lost weight. We'll talk about that in the new year. Um, yeah, I've paid it with these leather trousers and I've gone for a more rock chick look, if you like. So instead of doing the pussy bow, I've just tied it and let it do its thing. Uh, the sleeves, let me show you with you the sleeves now. I should have pinned them because I need to alter the buttons. So they are too big for me. Everything's too big for me at the moment. So this is the sleeves. 
but I'm just going to roast them up because they're just too big for me. Um, this is a size medium, by the way, and looking at it on the hanger, I thought that is going to absolutely swamp me, but it doesn't at all. I'm quite, quite surprised. Um, the only thing, like I said, I'd need to change these. The cuffs need tightening. I love the, I love it with the leather. I think it's a good sort of semi casual look for the pub. I've got my snapshot bag just to give it that little bit more of a cooler look. And I'm also wearing my Steve Madden platform boots. Now I know these are a bit marmite. You could wear any other heel with leather trousers. So yeah, let's style it up with something else. But I actually really like this. I think it's beautiful. I love the red really lovely and I'm so glad I haven't had to put a light on yet fingers crossed right so again I've paired it with the M&S tiered skirt it's still got that little bit of rock chick look just puff that up I've kept the same boots on same clutch still not doing the pussy bow so it's not too formal. Yeah, I actually really like this because this skirt is so swishy, it pairs perfectly with the silk. Yeah, it's a nice look. Put that over a bit. You could add a, a belt to this as well, I think, a black belt, wide belt, but it's just so comfortable. This would be great for a house party, I think. Yeah, I really like it. Such a good versatile blouse. Really nice. Right, here's the blouse done up at the neck. Now what I've done, I didn't do the pussy bow. I'll share that with you in a minute. Um, but all I've done is wrapped it round, brought it back round and just knotted it once and pulled it all together so that it's like a high neck. I just think it's a much less miss, miss locum look if you like. Yeah, so I've paired it with the skirt and like I said, it instantly makes it just so much more glamorous. You could pass this from New Year's Eve, it's beautiful. Yeah, and I do need a reason to wear this skirt yeah, so really, I really like it like this, actually. Let's do the pussy bow, and I'll share with you what I've done. So there you go. So let's do the pussy bow, because you might prefer that. Personally, I preferred the other way. So there you go with the pussy bow. You could make it a big bow, a bigger bow. So we could do that. It's just a little bit. Are you being served? <laughs> Who used to watch Are You Being Served? My dad loved it. So this is what I actually did. So it's just flat. Are you coming in, Bo? <coughs> Come on then. Mind the camera. Take your ball. Bo is a little bit poorly today. One of her claws has fell off and it's been left with a stump. And she was supposed to go for a walk today and I thought best not. She's not limping or anything but it doesn't look nice. Anyway, yeah, so this is what I did. Bring it back round. Pull the hair out. Just bring this to the side and I, I just love how that looks it's, I just think it's so much classier again ladies a surprise I really thought this was going to be 
oversized on me but I can see now in the design because it looked really wide but it puffs over at the waistband can you see that I love it absolutely love it I've paired it with the Marx's slinky skirt but I think this is going to look great with some good black le leggings. I'm going to try that in a minute. Really, really pleased. Or grey. I think grey trousers would look good with this. It feels very luxurious on as well. I've just put a white tee on. But you could have a roll neck or a black pole roll neck I think would look good I tend to not put too much dark near my face it just doesn't suit me but yeah I love it I really thought it was going to swamp me I think I need to turn these cuffs back and even that makes that a little bit puffed yeah really nice it feels beautiful look at the pattern lovely Right, here's the next look. I've just paired it with, these are actually, they're not leggings, but they're not trousers. These are from Roman. Plain black, uh, with, I wouldn't call them jeggings either. They call them the Bengaline trousers. And I've paired them with my plain medium, plain medium heel lace up boots. And I just thought this would give a nice casual look. It's a good everyday casual look, I think. I actually quite possibly could wear this Christmas Day because I'm at the daughter's and I'm going to be running around with the grandchildren. I just want to be cosy and it is cosy. So this could be it. Let me know your thoughts, ladies, in the comments what your favourite outfit is out of this lot. I'm certainly not gonna I'm certainly not doing evening wear, that's for sure. So it's got to be comfortable, hasn't it? All that food. Let's try what was I gonna try these with? I think this will do really. Plain black trousers. Oh I've got grey trousers. But I, they are patterned, the new H&M trousers. Let's have a look. I don't know if it will pair because they're a completely different grey. Sorry about that, the daughter ringing. Yeah, I've got these grey trousers as well from H&M. I think grey will look great. Let's try those on. Right. It's getting a bit dark, ladies. Hopefully this is still okay for you. But yeah, I love it with the grey as well. These have got a check pattern on and that's why I was a little bit dubious about pairing. But I think they actually look really nice. So if any of you got grey trousers and you like this cardigan, I just wanted to share what it looked like really really pleased this could be the christmas day outfit no no it won't i like the leggings and the cardigan i think i think this is these trousers are so big for me look i don't know what happened um i don't know if h and m have changed their sizing on their cigarette trousers i said that in the trial for these um Plus I've lost a little bit of weight, so I'm going to have to try a size 10 in whatever colour they bring out next. But yeah, I do like this look. I think I've saved the best until last, ladies. This cardigan, or coatigan. It's not quite a cardigan, it's not quite a coatigan. I don't think I'd wear this out as a coat. But it's super cosy for indoors. This is just beautiful. The ribbing, uh, it's just so soft. Like I said, this is all wool. 
you've got the pockets. Um, now the only thing, I'm going to have a little moan about Lily Silk here. There's no belt loops. And I guess that is so that you can wear this with or without the belt. Personally, I would prefer belt loops. I, I'll show in the try on, done up or undone. But I thought this is just such a lovely look with the camel trousers. I've got the beige t-shirt on from H&M. Tan belt. I could have put tan shoes on, but I've put nude shoes on this time. But I can't tell you how lovely this feels on. You've got a drop shoulder on this one. Really, really lovely. It feels really good. I will be wearing this a lot, especially around the house. It's just that cosy layer that you need. It's so weighty, beautiful. Right, I thought I'd just, I keep cutting my head off. <laughs> I thought I'd just share the Cotigan cardigan with a dress. This is another way that I would wear it. It's perfect for over any dresses. I think this is the favorite piece out of the three ladies. It feels really lovely. I've just paired it in with these tones. This neutral colour, it's just going to pair with anything, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Sorry about the light. The light is just starting to go. But yeah, really, really love it. Right, before I finish up for the day, this is what I wanted to share with you. These are products by The Clothes Doctor. And, you know, I love my silks, my cashmeres, my wool. And these are all natural eco products for your silks, cashmeres, wools. You know, they do a lot of different things to help protect your clothing. So let's sit down and I'll run you through some of this. I've stayed as I am in that last dress. I've had to turn a light on now, but hey ho, at least you've got to see the, at least you got to see the clothes, oh, is that not focusing, at least you got to see the clothes in uh, the real daylight, but yeah, the, the clothes doctors have sent me some lovely products, this is a, uh, a lavender bag. I just thought these would make great gifts. Let me tell you ladies, they smell beautiful. They do um, little cloth bags for moth deterrent. I'll link the website down below. There's so many good little natural products on there. Uh, this one is a shoe polish kit. I thought this was great. What a lovely little stocking filler this would be. So you get a cloth, a cloth in there, a special sponge for your soft leather that you need to look after, and a polish. This is leather balm. And I, I just think it's all super cute stuff. And I think this would make good gifts. It's something a little bit different, isn't it? Let's stick that all back in there. So that's going to go in my drawer. I'm always losing polishes and stuff. I might even hang it in the wardrobe. But yeah, love it. Like I said, I've got the lavender bag. Oh God, I wish you could smell it. It's absolutely beautiful, so that's going to go in one of the drawers or the um, wardrobe. The Home of Clothing Care. It all comes in its bougie little wrapping. And it's all very sustainable. 
uh, recyclable cardboard. Now let's go through this. I've got number three, eco wash for cashmere and wool. Now, I've always washed mine in the machine. I'm pretty sure this can go in the machine. If not, I'll link down below. But it smells very, it's like a spa. Yeah, I think this has got lavender in it as well. But it smells like a spa day, so your clothes are gonna smell delicious. Let's get some glasses. Made in Britain, cruelty free, contains natural fragrances, palm oil free, vegan, infinitely recyclable and biodegradable. Now, one cap, fill a basin, submerge your, ah, machine, yeah, so you can use this for hand or machine, it says, which I think is brilliant. It smells beautiful. If my clothes come out smelling like this, it's Himalayan sandalwood and orange oil. Very different. It smells absolutely beautiful. And then I've got the Eco Wash for silk and delicates as well. And this is bergamot and sandalwood. So sandalwood's obviously a big key ingredient. That smells very gentle. That's something you wash your baby clothes in. Very nice. You get up to 16 washes in these ladies. And then I've got clothing spritz to deodorize and refresh. And this is white tea and mint. I've actually used this already. Yep, yeah, it's just a nice fresh smell. Very light on the mint, beautiful. And what's this one? Oh, knitwear mist. And this is cedarwood and vanilla. Do you know, I didn't know I liked cedarwood so much. That's nice as well, but completely different to the silk one. Yeah, so I just wanted to share those. Let's take those off. I just wanted to share those with you. I think it's really lovely. I'll leave their website down below and you can go and take a look at all the bits. Like, They've got, uh, I think they're wooden balls to deter moths. Yeah, there's lots of different things on there. Take a look, ladies. Anyway, after all that little try on, I'm now going to put on either my onesie or a cozy pair of pajamas and curl up, do some editing. I'll see you tomorrow. Evening, everyone. And it is evening, believe me, and it is freezing outside. I've just managed to get some um, last minute tickets to Hyde Hall light show, Christmas light show. So me and the daughter are going to go and have a browse. And I am super looking forward to it. It's a very last minute thing. I've put on, under here I've got the Damart thick woolly jumper beige trousers so it's all very casual underneath but looking smart on the outside this is why I like to have a good smart coat you could have your pajamas on couldn't you and uh, no one would know but I've put this scarf over the top to tie in the black boots excuse the mess of the room I've been working all day that light <laughs> I look like I've, <laughs> I look like I've got a hat on <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, so I'm going to go and I'll take you along. I'm really looking forward to it. Gloves. I can't find any gloves. My hands are going to freeze. I can't believe how much the temperature's dropped. But yeah, I'll get going. Uh, coat is H&M. They sell these every year. I chose the white one. I don't wear it often, but I do like it. Worth every penny, ladies, these coats. I'm tempted to get one of these in camel, actually. It's a nice, I've tucked that in for extra warmth. So yeah, off we go. Speaking of
We've arrived, it's so pretty. Really, really pretty. So many lights. Do you know what? I didn't think it was going to be this good. Look at that. Oh, into the darkness. I'll just show you around. There's no point in me talking all the way through. And I'll throw some music on and we'll talk after. Really pretty. This is nice. The cottage behind the lights. There's always something nice to do here at Hyde Hall. I love it. Then we've got some music coming up. Morning everyone. Ah, <laughs> oh, th uh, that was beautiful, that light show uh, that we went to at Hyde Hall. Absolutely stunning. I'm, I've got a membership for the RHS and because I've got the membership that cost £18 for them two tickets and we had such a lovely time. On the programme it stated that it would take you about 20 minutes to walk round and it took us more than an hour. So I wasn't expecting a lot, I was just absolutely blown away. Yeah, but boy was it cold. It was freezing when you're out in those open spaces. I need to go find some gloves. Um, anyway, I'm just dressed, ready to hit the shops. It's still cold. So I've got this damn art dress on again. I'm, I'm wearing this to the death. It's just easy, comfortable, really nice. But I thought I'll just jump on now because this film, <laughs> like they all do, is getting a little bit long. So I thought I'd come and say goodbye this morning. I'm going to put my coat on two seconds. Oh, yeah, just going to put the coat on and hit the shops. So I haven't got too much more to get now. I've really cracked on this week. Uh, who else is nearly done? I envy you. Too many grandchildren, this is a problem. And they're all coming up to grown up age, you know. My eldest grandchild is 21 next birthday, I'm pretty sure. And uh, 
she's not hard to buy for to be fair but the others you know like the 11 and 12 year olds i just find that so hard because they're at that in between stage of they don't want toys they're not sure what they want and then it becomes a problem doesn't it yes anyway this is me all done and ready to go out but i just want to say thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the lily silk don't forget the discount because that's a good discount hopefully i need lots of parties what with the Marxist stuff and the Lily Silk stuff, I, I need lots of parties. <laughs> Whether I get to go to lots, who knows. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching ladies. Your support means a lot to me, as you know, a hell of a lot. I've got a clothing haul coming up in the next film, so I hope you enjoy that. And yeah, and then I'll, I'm, I think that's going to be coming up to Christmas. So I, I shall pop on YouTube and obviously wish you all the best. I'll send my little Christmas message. It'll be like being the queen. <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah, but love to you all. And I'll see you in the next one.